Hello everybody, um, it's been a while since I've done a video um, talking about the social distancing and you know what it seems like our whole world is um, constantly, if you just watch over the last few years, people are isolating themselves anyway. People seem to be in their own world. Um, they're, you know, people won't look each other in the eye. Uh, you, you pass somebody on the street and they're looking at the ground and you, know, you have people with their phones texting each other uh, but never seeing each other face to face unless maybe uh, with a chat with a video on the phone but not really live flesh you know and you know I, I, I think the world is already headed that way you know we we've already isolated ourselves we already don't like to be close to other people i'm not i'm not saying everybody's this way but it seems to be the way the world is going and it seems to me that the social distance distancing will exacerbate that problem you know and, and and i'm thinking as a christian what do we do you know if i was looking at uh first corinthians uh 12 13 says, we're by one spirit all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Gentile, whether it be bond or free, we're all made to drink of one spirit, for the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I'm not the hand, I'm not of the body, does it make it not part of the body? And if she'll be, say, if, I, if I'm not the eye, I'm not of the body, therefore not of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smelling? But God has set many members, one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. It pleased God to set us in a body together where we need each other. There's something about... Christianity, there's something about the body of Christ that that God has set it up, designed it, so we actually need each other. It says, uh, we're many members, but one, one body. Uh, the eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. Nor can the feet say, I have no need of you. Nay, those things that members of the body which seem more feeble are necessary. And uh, though members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. In our uncomely parts, we have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but that which tempers the body together, having given more abundant honor to the part which lacks. That there should be no schism in the body, that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffers, all the f members suffer. Whether it be one be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now you're the body of Christ and members in particular. So, you know, we're, we're, we're in this world... And the world seems to be headed towards isolation. Everybody, you know, you could, you could be in a big house and in, in your own little room have, have um, your own refrigerator, your own microwave, you have a TV, you have uh, the ability to listen to music, you have your cell phone, and, and you, you could talk to your sister or your brother or your mother via cell phone and never even see them face to face. And that's even in an earthly family. But now we're the body of Christ. We're, we're a, a heavenly family. We are going to be together forever. Like it or not, every one of us that are truly in the body of Christ, we are eternally family. We will always be together forever. And in this world right now, we need each other. We need each other more than we ever have. And, and those people that, that can't get out, we need to go help those people. How can we be the body of Christ if we, we're not taking care of one another? You know, my hand washes my face. I need this hand. We need each other. And we need to take care of one another, especially in this time. 
And we need to be an example to the world, not of isolation, but of warmth, of, of love, of caring, of, 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 of meeting each other's needs, taking care of one another financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, taking care of each other, nourishing each other. And that's the word of the Lord. God bless you, everybody. I, I'm, I'm working for Uber Eats, and I just got a call, so I got to head out. Love you guys. Bye.